Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So before we get started in this reading, I would like to let you guys know that your girl's Patreon channel is up and running. So go and subscribe and support your girl if you feel called to. I'll be posting two exclusive readings each week on my Patreon channel. So if you'd like to check it out, look at the description box below for the link. Okay, so we're going to get started in this reading. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about what do people say behind your back when you're not around. So pound number one, you're going to be the root chakra crystal. Pound number two, you're going to be the throat chakra crystal. And pile number three, you're going to be the brow chakra crystal. Sorry, the crown chakra crystal. So again, pile number one, root chakra crystal. Pile number two, throat chakra crystal. And pile number three, crown chakra crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Pawan! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the root chakra crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one. What do people say behind your back once you leave the room? What do people, what do people say behind your back once you leave the room? Holy, so people may be stuttering or like or even when like you're in your presence or something like that. What do we have here? We have the King of Swords. So you're definitely intimidating. People find you intimidating. They say that you are extremely like powerful. You're very much knowledgeable, but you are intimidating with the King of Swords. You're very much stoic, hard to read. That's what people say behind your back when once you leave the room, what do people say behind your back when you leave the room, when you're not around? Yeah, we have the page of cups. Okay, so there's definitely that soft side to you. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Yeah, that you're, you have a soft side to you. You're very, uh, I'm getting like charismatic, imaginative, very sensitive. What do people say behind your back once you leave the room? What do people say? behind your back when you're not around my pal when you're not around they have a lot to say because all my cards are coming out I like I have a lot of cards that are coming out usually I don't take that many at once so I'm just gonna like people have a lot to say about you we have the world card okay um, they definitely um, say that you are somebody who has a lot under your belt a lot of experiences a lot of knowledge and expertise to share with the world like you have well you are well accomplished here with the world card definitely knowledgeable what do people say behind your back 
Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands, that you're extremely confident, that you're very beautiful, you're powerful, you know your worth, you know who you are, you know what you bring to the table, you're confident in your own skin, you're very much in touch with your yourself, your inner self, with the Queen of Wands, but you're very much attractive too. That's what people see behind your back when you're not around. Like they think that you're very much attractive, assertive, confident um, in yourself, in your skills, in your abilities to get things done with the Queen of Wands. Very much powerful energy, assertive energy, a go-getter energy, whether you are a woman or a man, you really have a good balance of feminine and masculine energy. What do people say? Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. You're definitely a kindred spirit. Okay, that's what people say behind your back when you're not around like they feel very much drawn to you you have a lot of people that are uh very fond of you i'm getting with the six of cups they have really good vibes about you sorry about that i'm just picking up the card that fell on the floor yeah they have really good vibes about you wow nine of pentacles they see you as the eligible bachelor or bachelorette like you live a life of luxury a life of abundance okay that's what people secretly think of you um, well, they think that of you as well, but that's what they say behind your back once you leave the room with the Nine of Pentacles, like you're high maintenance. Um, you live like you definitely live a life of luxury. This is what I'm getting here. This is what they say behind your back once you leave the room. Like you give off the vibe that you have a very peaceful life, you have a very like um active lifestyle, uh luxurious lifestyle. There's something very luxurious about you, very uh fancy bougie about you that's what people see behind your back once you leave the room like you come off as very bougie or like you're getting like high maintenance like heavy on the high maintenance energy what do people say behind your back once you leave the room yeah you see oh you have suitors with the lovers and the nine of cups your wish fulfillment for a lot of people yeah you're highly sought after like you're, yeah, I keep getting like high maintenance, but highly sought after, highly desirable, wish for filming with the Nine of Cups. Mm, and also people, the, what what they say behind your back once you leave the room and when you're not around is that you are, you self-indulge, like you, you have expensive taste, but you self-indulge, like you like to eat finer, like the finer things in life, like expensive food or something like that. There's something about you that's very much like, um expensive i don't know why i keep getting that expensive word but this is what people see behind your back once you leave the room yeah queen of pentacles you're self-sufficient you're abundant um you're definitely um high maintenance with the queen of pentacles but you do all the maintaining it's not like somebody else is doing it for you because you're self-sufficient with the queen of pentacles you're extremely independent and that's what people say behind your back once you leave the room like you have this in independent streak about you that people are very much drawn to you have a lot of people that view you also as like somebody who could do it all like you could run a business a household work a nine to five do it all and still look good still look fly with the nine of pentacles so you make it seem like effortless the way that you do things with the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles that's what people say behind your back when you're not around like you make it seem effortless like you're just flawless you wake up flawless <laughs> this is what i'm getting here beyonce and beyonce is a virgo nine of pentacles is virgo energy so you could be a virgo here maybe your birthday is the same as beyonce september 4th or something like that or you could also be a gemini because we have uh the lovers here but yeah i'm gonna you wake up flawless <laughs> like you're you're gorgeous or you're handsome regardless of like what style you do hairstyle whatever you always look good like there's something very uh magnetic about you what do people say behind your back once you leave the room Ooh, that you're highly spiritual highly intuitive with the high priestess yeah what do people say behind your back once you're not around yeah very intuitive i just saw the three of cups i wanted to come out Ooh, the emperor boss you have amazing leadership skills and qualities to you people also you see you like what they say behind your back when you're not around is that you are a hard-working individual like even if like let's say if you're new to a job or something and 
you're still developing your skill set and your talents like within that job especially if it's like a new position or something like that like a brand new position that the company just created or something like you're learning at a, a rapid speed and you're you know really diligently putting in the work improving yourself asking question you know trial and error you're not afraid of like cr criticism like you take criticism like you know and then you you run with it you improve on what people criticize you on so that way you can come better like people are definitely talking about you like that like they're definitely saying that behind your back when you're not around with the emperor you're definitely a boss like you apply the knowledge that you have gathered and become better slowly but surely you keep getting better what do people secretly uh, what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have justice, Libra energy. So you're definitely fair in your dealings. You have a lot of integrity. Okay, what do people say behind you? Uh, yeah, we have the king of wands. Ooh, definitely have a good balance of feminine and masculine energy. With the king of wands. Yes, definitely boss energy. Yeah, you're very much assertive very much confident that's what people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back when you're not around wow we have the ace of cups like you have a healthy amount of self-love your self-love is off the chain my pal number one and it's healthy it is contagious you inspire people to also love on themselves to take care of themselves to like you know like let's say for instance you're the type of person that likes to dress up like to wear makeup like if you're a woman or if you are a man you like to wear really nice clothes even if it's like business casual or like just casual at work you still like to dress up nice every day you like to get your hair done every day like you do well you may not do your hair every day like maybe you have like a specific hairstyle that you do and you stick to it especially if you are a woman of color you know our hair we have to you know always like keep it fresh keep it neat and then we also have to wrap it at night especially when it's natural so i feel like you may do something like that where you're always keeping your hair fresh clean nicely put together and then you're inspiring other people to do the same thing like they're starting to look at you and be like okay well me too i want to take care of myself me too i want to make sure that i get my hair done me too i want to make sure that i get my nails done you know i want to look fresh i want to crisp you inspire them even though they don't want to say it to you but you definitely inspire them to be the best version of themselves so what do people say um, behind your back when you're not around yeah they say that you're lucky or you bring a lot of luck fortune good news yeah what do people see behind your back when you're not around we have the page of cups again guys they definitely say that you're sensitive and highly intuitive yeah that's what they say behind your back when you're not around like you're highly sensitive like not that you can't take criticism or anything like that or you can't take things but you just i mean like sensitive in the sense that you the energies around you affect you what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do we have here yes oh they have options ooh, ooh, ooh. you have options what do people say behind your back when you're not around when do you what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah you have options options in love options in career Ooh, three of swords that you're a heartbreaker mm -mm. pile number one what is going on <laughs> people you have people in their feelings because they see you as like you know wish or filming but that's what they say behind your back when you're not around like you're a heartbreaker ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is going on File number one, who has their eyes on you? You may have people who have their eyes on you, my pal number one. Okay, so what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Okay, just one card, please. What do people say? Thank you. We have the magician. Okay, so you're very skilled and talented. You know how to utilize your current skill to become better. Okay, so you could have Gemini or Virgo in your chart. We have Gemini here twice. We have Cancer, Aries, Libra okay sagittarius 
with the wheel of fortune so definitely we have the sun Ooh, you shine really brightly you're extremely confident successful and that's what people see behind your back when you're not around but they definitely say that you're very skilled and talented at what you do and you bring a lot to the table like especially in your workplace if you have like a nine to five like they definitely speak highly of you behind your back when you're not around and they definitely see potential in you like they could see that you could go you could grow into becoming an asset for the company what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back we have companion and guide so companion says loyalty tenacity and unselfishness so this is what I was getting like people like not only do they like you as a person but they also see you as a potential lover you have a lot of people that have their eyes on you my pal number one and when you leave the room when like let's say if these people are people that you work with they definitely speak highly of you other people that may not be like in your social circle or people that are like maybe see you in passing once you leave the room they think highly of you we also have the guide it says represents um the nature of the divine in life and in yourself so definitely giving me um like a spiritual a spiritualist so somebody who's into you know div divination and stuff like that so that's why people stay behind your back when you're not around like you're definitely like a guide you're um definitely like you have you give coaching vibes with the guide card this is what i'm getting here you're definitely divine you're you're definitely somebody who people could come to for advice. This is what I'm getting here, giving like the Hierophant type of energy. And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. You're definitely um, intuitive. Ooh, we have the Hermit. So it says, six solitude to focus intently on inner life serves personal creativity. So what people see behind your back when you're not around is that you are a hermit. Like you like to spend a lot of time alone. I feel so too. You're, you're, it seems like you're a lot in your head, my pal number one. Like you're definitely in your thoughts or you prefer to be alone instead of being around a lot of people. Not that you don't like people, but like I feel like because you are an introverted individual by nature. So people, some people may feel like rejected by you like with the three of swords because of that energy but really it's because you're a hermit like you prefer to be alone than to be around people 24 7 now that like i said now that you don't like people but like you have a social battery after a certain amount of time you're like okay you know what i need to take a break <laughs> this is what i'm getting here so you could definitely have virgo in your chart because we have the hermit here hermit energy is virgo energy so yeah and okay so what do people say what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Okay, so we have the vine. Innocence, purity, redemption suggest a special connection with the divine. Okay, so definitely, I don't know why I heard light worker. So you could be a light worker, my pal, number one. Okay, this is what people are saying behind your back when you're not around, but you definitely feel like you are divine. You have like a special connection with spirit. You are in union with spirit. They could sense that because we also have the high priestess. So they could sense that about you, that you're highly spiritual or in tune. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi Pal2! Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the throat chakra crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number two. What do people say behind your back once you leave the room? What do people say behind your back once you leave the room?
Okie dokie, let's see what we have. Ooh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. They say that you are a baller. Or you come from money, or you look like a money. You look like a bag of money. Okay? Yes, like you look like you're financially stable, abundant. Like I keep getting like that abundance energy. What do people say behind your back? Once you leave the room. Ooh, we have the seven of wands that you have your guards up. Ooh, you're definitely guarded about like, ooh, I'm like, I'm getting like you protect your finances or you protect your, I don't know why I heard legacy because the 10 of pentacles could also represent a uh, legacy because you see how there's like a family, there's children and the parents are here. And with the dogs, so it's like definitely building a legacy for yourself, a foundation, an empire for your family. But you're definitely defensive with the seven. Oh, that's not the that's the five of wands, not the seven of wands, but that's also defensiveness. Okay, that's protection. It's also competition. So people are definitely saying that you are the competition. They see you as competition. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yes, we have justice, Libra energy. You're definitely fair in your dealings. You're an honest individual, okay? You're just, yeah, we have the hermit, Virgo energy. You like to spend a lot of time alone. You're extremely analytical with the hermit energy, observant. People, that's what people see behind your back when you're not around, you're extremely observant. You like to spend a lot of time alone. You're an introverted individual. You keep to yourself. And I feel like that's why they feel like you're kind of like defensive or on guard with them because you don't want, like I'm getting like, you don't want to be bothered. You want to do your work and, and, <laughs> and go home. That's what I heard. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have the queen of cups that you're highly intuitive. You in touch with your emotions. You're definitely mature, emotionally mature. And we have the four of wands. So the four of wands speaks of stability, home life, comfortability, um, also uh, excitement, um, celebration, because they are celebrating on the card, okay? And that's what four of wands represents as well, not just like twin flame and soulmate. It also represents like celebrating like a, uh, like a promotion, a ch birth of a child, or some, some sort of good news that brings some sort of stability in your home life. So that's what I'm getting here, and that's what people say behind your back once you leave the room, is that you come off as if you have like a very stable, harmonious, harmonious life with the Ten of Pentacles as well. And people definitely say behind your back that you are very much emotionally in tune, emotionally balanced and emotionally intelligent with the Queen of Cups and highly sensitive to your environment. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You're dependable, reliable, trustworthy, but you're also extremely independent, self-sufficient. With the Queen of Pentacles, you have a lot of things going on for yourself. You're definitely in touch with your feminine side. And that's what people see behind your back when you're not around. It's like you're very much a feminine, but a, a very feminine uh, woman, especially if you're a woman here. But you also ha are in touch with your uh, masculine side because you are a grounded individual. You're not uh, too much in your head where like you're unrealistic in your expectations of life. Like this is what I'm getting here. And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. You have realistic expectations. You go with the flow of life. You're down to earth, definitely with the Queen of Pentacles. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, we have the devil. Mm -mm, like you're a workaholic. Yeah, I'm getting like workaholic Capricorn energy. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Maybe you work too much, like you're more focused on work than you are focused on like building connections with others like um lifelong connection or friendship and stuff like that yeah we have ooh, ooh, the high priestess and the devil that could represent black magic when they come together i don't know why i'm getting that though because usually i don't really get that but this is what i'm getting here some people may say that behind not that you do black magic or anything like that but that ooh, like you're enchanting. Like, I don't know why I keep getting like casting spells. It's not like you're actually casting spell, but there's something very um, 
it's not uh, intoxicating. That's the word I was looking for with the high priestess and the devil. Okay, it's like even though you don't do black magic because i'm not getting that's what you do and i'm not getting that that's what they're saying about you but there's something intoxicating very much drawing like mystical um forbidden about you with these two cards like coming together with the high priestess and the devil it's like so forbidden it's like like you know you know what they say the apple is a forbidden fruit that you have that vibe to you that's what people secretly say behind your back when you're not around like you there's something about you that people just want they can't put their finger quite on it what it is about you that is that they're very much drawn to but they feel so drawn to you like so obsessed with you there's definitely an obsession here people are obsessed with you my pal number two more than you know like they come off like they don't see you but they do it's like they they're, they're so obsessed with wanting to know what do you do how do you do it like who like, i'm like who are you doing it with oh my god what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the world card and judgment yeah people like some people may judge you based on their past experience. They could be also judging, like, um, not judging, but um, there's not discriminating against you because of, like, certain, maybe your looks or, like, your culture, your background, okay? Like, I feel like there could be a little bit of discrimination against you because of certain things that people, like, certain ideology that people have, not about you per se, but about their perception of you. So let's say, for instance, I feel like pal number two, you you are very much attractive, but you're very much um, introverted. So maybe in their mind, they feel like, okay, well, she's attractive, so she must be a B, or, you know, or he he's handsome, so he must be a player. You know, those are the, like those type of discrimination or prejudice or like, or maybe you're from a specific group of people and they could be discriminating against you because you're far you're from that group of people okay i don't want to get too specific but like that's what i'm getting here with the judgment card but we have the world card like definitely accomplished you could be a foreigner i feel like you might be a foreigner my pal number like where you where you frequent often these people that are saying these things about you could be like um it could be like their homeland it could be their country and you're a foreigner in their country okay so you're not from that land wherever you are right now you may not be from that land even if you are you may not be from that neighborhood there's something about like a uh, mob mentality about these people okay what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the fool that you walk to the beat of your own drums you're definitely unique eccentric there's something very much different about you. You could have Aquarius in your chart. What do people say behind your back? We have the Page of Wands. They came out in reverse. Okay, so Page of Wands could represent um, competition. They see you as competition with the Five of Wands, but they, even though they see you as competition, they're still obsessed with your energy. It's like they're contradicting themselves, these people. It's like this is why, like, the. The devil and the high priestess, that energy I was saying about something like they don't, they can't put their finger on it, but there's something about you that even though some of them might hate on you, but they're still drawn to you. They don't know why. It's like something about your essence. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the strength card. They say that you're courageous, that you are very strong. Um, you call the shots. You're influential. You have a great power of persuasion. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have the Page of Swords. Ooh, 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 Page of Swords. They definitely gossip about you a lot more than you think. They watch you. They spy on you. Whoever these people are, because it, it's a general reading. It could be like anybody, but it's like people that you may see often or like in passing, but it's like a familiar face. If it's not people in your workplace or people in your family or your friend circle, it's people that you see in passing and these people are definitely watching you online. Like you think these people don't know your your username or whatever, like your name online, like your aliases or whatever, or your pseudonym, like you know, your Instagram, your Facebook. They oh yo, these people know everything about you. <laughs> and they look, they smile in your face, act like they don't know anything about you, but like not in a sense where they know your personal um like your address and stuff like that it's mostly whatever you post online so like especially if your page is public and you think they haven't found you online 
whoever these people are, they're investigators, okay? They they know about you. Like, I'm really getting like an energy that they know. They know all the things about you. <laughs> they know all about your page. So what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, you make them anxious. I'm telling you, 601s, 501s, I'm telling you, they're seeing you as competition. Eight of Swords, like you make them anxious. Whoever these people are, they, like, they are inspired by your work but they're just mad that it's you they don't like the fact that it's you doing what you're doing like if it was someone else that they didn't know about they would be okay with it they would not care but it's because of the fact that like it's you and they're competing against you because we have the five of ones again they're upset they definitely see you as success that's what they say behind your back when you're not around like you're very much successful but some of them they may be saying that you're a show-off like you're showing off your success online, especially I keep getting like it's online, something that you're doing online that they're seeing and they're upset with you for being so successful, for being so abundant and they see you as competition. That's what they say behind your back when you're not around, that you're a competition, that they want to they wanna beat you, they want to be better than you. Okay, but you're not afraid of competition. You're not afraid of standing your ground and fight for what you believe in or fight for your position you see the devil again i'm telling you capricorn energy twice so you can have capricorn in your chart um saturn i'm getting or capricorn sun but yeah they're definitely viewing you as like um intoxicating they can't get enough of you even if they're hitting on you they still can't stop watching you they can't stop talking about you they can't keep your name out their mouth they can't do that like, even if they, they say, okay, yo, no, today I'm not going to go check pile number two's page. They still go and check just to see if you posted something today. <laughs> oh my God, these people are too much. And they gather around to talk about you. That's what I'm getting here. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have fool fearlessly revealing emotions helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy so you're not afraid to be yourself you're not afraid to show your emotions to be authentic with who you really are and that's what they say behind your back when you're not around like i'm not getting like they're saying that you're a fool like as in like you know making fun of you it's more about like you're free because we have the fool here twice like you walk to the beat of your own drum like you're you're being unique you're being yourself you're being authentic you're not faking it you're not pretend like you're not putting on a mask to pretend to be something that you're not like you're authentically yourself and that's what they say behind your back when you're not around we have companion loyalty tenacity and unselfishness that's what they say behind you that's what people say behind your back when you're not around is that you're definitely a loyal individual unselfish yeah you have tenacity like i'm telling you like you really have like you're honest your truth like you're the real deal like you're not a gimmick you're not pretending i keep getting like you're not pretending what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the lovers the lover i'm sorry and mystic revel revels revels reveal <laughs> i can't speak oh my god i can't read <laughs> holy moly revel in intimate union with the divine oh my god guys like mercury is really kicking my butt man like i can't even speak can't even say the words properly can't even read <laughs> holy moly so definitely mystical magical that's what they say behind your back when you're not around like you're a magical individual or you have a special connection with the divine because it says revel in intimate union with the divine. So, and we don't also have the high priestess. So this is definitely saying that you are, you have this divine connection. And I feel like that's another reason why they feel like there's something about you that they can't pinpoint what it is, but they're very much drawn to you and they're obsessed with you. There's a lot, like, a, a lot of obsession, but they also say that you work too much with the devil being here twice. We have the lover, great passion and devotion umbrage real appreciation of someone or something yeah like you definitely have this a loving vibe to you you are a lover and not a fighter like you know how to pick your battles wisely you're not a combative individual you're definitely wise like that emotional maturity from the queen of cups you have it down pat like you're not somebody who's going to 
um, start a fight, start arguing, you're not petty, okay? And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like, they know that you're not a petty individual. So if they come at you sideways with, like, you know, trying to attack you, you know how to handle yourself with, you know, poise, calm and cool and collected, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pile number two. Bye. Hi, pile three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pile number three, you picked the crown chakra crystal. And this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do we have here? Ooh, the star, Aquarius energy. You're definitely a delight. You're authentic, you're original, you're unique. And that's what people see behind your back when you're not around. You're definitely unique, you ha you're authentic. Yeah, wow, you're the star. Okay, my pal number three. What do people see behind your back? Yeah, we have Cancer energy, Chariot. You're structured, you're disciplined, you're strong will, you're determined, okay? You get things done. You have unwavering faith in yourself, in your abilities to do things. Like, even though it gets difficult, even though it gets tough, like, and you have to keep pushing, keep striving for excellence. You don't stop. Like, you don't let criticism get to you. You don't let hardship get to you. Like, you're definitely somebody who is very strong-minded here. And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. You're definitely an inspiration. We have the five of wands. You're definitely being seen as competition. I got that for pile number two as well. The five of one was the first card that came out for pile number two. So there could be like a message for you in pile two, only if you feel called to. But with the five of ones, you're definitely being viewed as competition. That's what people that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like they want to get like you, they want to be like you, they want to have that energy, that je ne sais quoi that you possess with the star energy that you're so authentic, authentic and original. We have the high priestess. The high priestess came out for all three piles as well. So you're definitely intuitive. You can, could have cancer in your chart because we have cancer twice. So you're definitely being viewed and talked about in a sense where you're highly spiritual, you're knowledgeable, you're mystical, okay? And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around, you're definitely mystical, okay? What do people say behind your back when you're not around, my pal number three? They say that you're creative. Okay, you're optimistic, you're magnetic, attractive with the Ace of Wands. There's definitely that spark of inspiration that you possess and that you bring to the table, and especially with the star, it's just all combined together. I don't know why I heard glorify. People could be glorifying you or putting you on a pedestal because of the star energy. There's definitely this uniqueness about you or this charm that you possess that are people are very much drawn to your energy with the star. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the fool. You walk to the beat of your own drums. That's definitely that uniqueness that you possess, okay? You're definitely um, taking a leap of faith towards your goals, your dreams, and aspiration. And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like, you definitely inspire them to do the same thing. Like, you push them to go to the limit. You push them to step outside of, of their comfort zone. Because someone like you is doesn't come by often. Like, you're definitely different okay sorry guys there was like multiple cards i fell on the floor i had to pick it up so people feel like you're very much different unique like you're you're an acquiring taste i don't know why i heard that what do people say behind your back when you're not around Ooh, we have the five of swords like you're not afraid of confrontation you're not afraid of standing your ground to say what you have to say 
yeah you're definitely not afraid of conflict when like things don't go your way what do people say behind your back when you're not around okay that's too many cards what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, we have the Hierophant, Boss, Energy, okay? You're definitely a leader, a master at your craft. You're definitely um, being viewed as traditional, knowledgeable. You're conformist, okay? You conform to, not to people's rules, but to your own rules. Like, you're true to your rules. Like, because the Hierophant is all about rules, culture, it's about like um, legacy, family, heritage, because the Hierophant is also about heritage. So you follow your heritage. So maybe you're very true to your heritage. Maybe like, I don't know why I'm getting like Indian. Maybe you're from India. And you know how like um, Indian women, they have like that thing that they put in the middle of their, like their uh, brow chakra. They have like this, I don't know what it's called. So if you're Indian, you could write it in the comments. But it's like maybe you do you have that or you wear henna tattoo or something like that on your hands maybe like because you know how that's cultural too so i feel like maybe you wear a henna tattoo there's something very cultural about you like you're very much in tune with your culture or like there's something about your essence like your natural essence that people talk about with the hair phone. like you're not afraid of being yourself you're not afraid of being like who you truly are like yeah you may like to switch things up from time to time but you definitely respect your culture with the hair phone. i don't know why i'm getting that but i was getting like the example because i was like seeing um indian women maybe because i'm like oh my god i can't even speak uh because i know right now it's eid i think it, it's right now like this season so um it could be Eid right now, and then you maybe you're wearing your cultural clothes or something like that. Maybe you're Muslim. Okay. Because I know um, Indians are not Muslim. It's Pakistans that are Pakistani that are Muslim. I don't know. Maybe there's Indians that are Muslim. So if I'm, if I'm like, you know, wrong, you could correct me in the comments. But like from what I know, it's like it's uh, more of a muslim thing and it's pakistanis that are muslim and not indians so i feel like maybe like there's something about your culture though this is why i was like referring to this it's something about your culture so people say that behind your back when you're not around like you respect your culture you respect like your elders like you respect your tradition because the hair front represents that what do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have the magician, you're a master manifester. There's like two cards that fell on the floor. I'm gonna pick them up. Ooh, we have the two wands and we have the death card, Scorpio energy. So you're definitely a master manifester, Gemini, Virgo energy here with um, the magician. So you're definitely skilled and talented. And this is what people say behind your back when you're not around. When you leave the room, they definitely say that you're very skilled and talented. Like you have a lot of potential. You have a, a, also a lot of untapped potential that you could definitely utilize to better your life because we have the two wands like you're working towards that you're definitely an adventurous individual. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like you're not afraid to venture into the unknown, even though you don't have a roadmap you're not afraid to take one step at a time in order to get to your destination. People definitely say with the death card that you are a magnetic individual. Some of them, they could be intimidated by you with a scorpionic energy with a death card, but they definitely view as magnetic, transformative, resilient. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Yeah, we have the two of pentacles that you're multiple, multiple talent. You're multi-talented. I can't even speak. I'm telling you. <laughs> we have the strength card, Leo energy. You're extremely powerful. Like, I'm definitely powerful and courageous. So you could have, uh, you could be Virgo, Leo Cusper, Gemini, Taurus Cusper, Gemini, Cancer Cusper. Like, there's a lot of Cusper energy here, okay? You could be a cusper or you could just have like those um, signs in your chart. Okay, because we also have um, Leo Cancer Cus. Okay, what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands again, guys. Your creativity, your passion, your zest for life is admirable. 
And we have the Eight of Cups. Ooh. You're emotionally withdrawn. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like you're... Like you don't invest yourself too much, like your emotions too much into something that you don't feel is going to last. Like you know how to eat, detach. And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Like you're really good at detaching yourself from a situation. And that could be like the Aquarius energy because Aquarius are really good at detaching. It's an air sign. And Gemini is here too. So yeah, like if you have air in your chart, it's easy for you to detach from a situation to not... Not that you don't care because detachment does not mean that you don't care, but you're just not holding on to something that is not serving you. So what do people see behind your back when you're not around? Ooh, we have the ace of, page of swords. People definitely talk about you. Like, um, online. They gossip about, like, what you post online. They watch you online. Uh, they observe you. There's something about what you're doing online because you could be an influencer here with a star. Like, you definitely have some sort of influence here. Whether it's like a, in your community or online, you're definitely being watched. Like, oh, what I, I don't know why I heard peeping Tom. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. <laughs> I don't like that. But that's what I heard. There could be somebody, ooh, ooh. There could be somebody close to you watching you like live not just online like they're actually watching you so just be careful i don't know why i got that because I, I usually don't get that energy but just be careful maybe your blinds in your room or something like that make sure that they're closed especially at night because you know when it's night dark and then your blinds are open you don't you can't see who's watching you right so just be careful with that i don't know that could be somebody for somebody specific somebody could be watching you and you don't know okay so just be careful that's just for somebody specific. So I don't want you guys to be all paranoid that somebody's watching you. But it's like, I don't know why I got this message. So the spirit want me to say it because somebody needs to hear that. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. You're definitely coming off as very happy. And that's what people say behind your back when you're not around. Yeah, we have the Moon card. You're definitely mysterious. You're being viewed as mysterious. Yeah, whatever you're posting online. Maybe your page is private. Or like you post very little online for some of you but you're definitely mysterious with the moon card what do people say behind your back when you're not around oh guys the star is here again oh my god they definitely view you as the star they say that you're unique you're different uh, <laughs> you're just different my pal number three authentic original you're true to yourself and this is why i was going back to the cultural part because i feel like you're true to your culture like you don't try to assimilate you don't try to fit in you stand out regardless of what you do like even though you try like maybe you just don't want to stand out because you just want don't want that attention on you but you still get it with the star being here twice like you can't help it like you just everywhere you go you just shine and you're the way that you shine is not from out it's from within so that's why you cannot really hide it it's not something that's on you it's something that's in you with the star card what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have engineer ability to give creative energy a practical expression talent for designing resolution to common dilemma common dilemmas okay so you're definitely being viewed as an engineer you're uh, a problem solver i'm getting yeah like you're very creative and we do have the ace of wands twice so it makes a lot of sense that people secretly think that of you and say that behind your back what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have god oh benevolent and compassion recognizes the internal force within yourself and others wow people put you on a pedestal they definitely think highly of you and i feel like it's because of your uniqueness with the star energy you definitely have that vibe to you you have a lot of like powerful energy within you my pal no, like you don't have to have those signs but you emanate that energy and that's what people say behind your back when you leave the room like you have this je ne sais quoi about your energy that is very drawing people in and it's also very um it's magnetic and it's also inspiring because it's unique, it's different. It's never been seen before. Maybe people have like, sorry guys, I'm just picking up the cards. So if I sound far away, I'm sorry. 
but I'm getting like people may feel like because maybe they have perception specific perception of you and like you don't fit that perception with the star being here you're just so different okay you're definitely eccentric I'm getting there's an like something eccentric about you with the star being here Aquarius energy what do people say um, wow we have father talent for creating and supporting life positive guiding light within a travel unit yeah you definitely have this positive light to you you're definitely a guide this is giving me emperor energy and also hair font energy and hair font is here like you definitely have that vibe to you where you are a source of light you definitely guide people to um like to do positive things to be the best version of themselves like and you're definitely somebody who is uh, supportive and that's what people say be that's what people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have king wow it makes sense guys enlightened benevolent leadership benefiting those in your charge so they say that you have amazing leadership skills that's what they say behind your back when you're not around and we have the hair font here the hair font is definitely like a leader he's definitely like a king because people come to him for advice for support and he he established a law tradition order okay with the hair font upright like there's no chaos chaos wow chaos i can't speak holy moly i can't wait for mercury to be like mercury retro to be over holy moly okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three Bye.